hey guys welcome to our channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a custom model pop-up in webflow so first of all you have to sign up to webflow and create your account after that just when you create your account and just open your site where you want to add this pop-up so simply now here you can see I have opened my site and now I am available on dashboard so on the dashboard you can see on the left side there are some options here so simply what you need to do first of all you have to select the site and after that just from your keyboard you have to press the control key so keep in mind that you can easily find the control key key to open this search bar so now in this search bar you have to find the div so simply type the div here and after that just you have to select the div block so simply drag it and just paste it here so now as yeah, you can see we have add the div block here in the next just you have to scroll down and select the color like I have select the red color here and after that you can also set the transparency here so in my case I have set the full transparency so it's depend upon you how you can colorize this model pop-up so simply I have select the red color so in the next section you have to change the height so simply just type the height and width that you want to apply so as uh, you can see this is width and height of our pop-up so simply you can also set it according to your choice but keep in mind when you want to edit this pop-up simply you have to on the left side you have to select this and then the selection tools will be available here so just keep in mind that first of all select here and then you can edit it here in the next section as uh, you can see we have successfully created a pop-up now if you want to edit this pop-up like you want to edit some sections here so simply in order to do this just you have to select this pop-up and now after that after this just click on this plus button so here you can see the element that you want to add in this custom pop-up so here you can see the basic like list list item grid container so simply I put this and put it here so here you can see I have added this so simply you select and customize this so currently I will delete this so now again click on this and here you can see the section so simply just drag it here so here you can add it the section so similar as you see the that when you add the element in website you have to add it so simply I have like I have set the section here and just go down and select the color here like I have select the black color here so here you can see the color is changed you can also set the height and width so after that just go there and here you can see other options like heading so simply if you want to move the heading here just paste the heading here simply just type the heading like change so we have added the heading here so you can also set the size here like width height and everything here so simply after that just again go to this plus button and now here you can see the paragraph option text blocks you can also edit the text block here so here you can also edit some text like simply you can add some description here so now as you can see we will again go to this button and now here you can see the buttons option so simply you can also add the button so just button text here so simply just you can also edit the text here 
and you can also change the size color what you want so simply select the item and then go here and change the color so as you can see the color is black so I have added simply button here now again go to plus button and now here you can see you can also add the rich text text link so simply you can also add the paragraph here so now as you can see we have added a paragraph here so now if you want to remove some item like I want to remove this one simply just click here and click on delete you can also make it duplicate so now again click on this button and here you can see that you can also add the image here so what you need to do just drag the image option here and after that just here you have to select a clause or tag so simply you can also add the tag here and simply you can add image here choose an image so simply select from library or you can select image from your computer so if you want to upload image from computer simply click here and you can also upload image from computer currently I don't want to upload image so simply just select here and click on delete now again click here so now in this section you can see the video option so simply drag this button to here so here you can also add the video now again delete this go back so here you can see the YouTube link available so simply when you drag the YouTube here so simply if you want to add some video in your custom model pop-up so simply you can also add your YouTube uh, link here so simply you have to paste your YouTube link here title here and it will be appear here in your custom model pop-up so simply I will delete this now again click here so now here you can see the forms so now first you will add the form block here so so as you know that the mostly pop-up appeared when you have to uh, type something like if you want to submit some option or you want to create a sign up so simply uh, the pop-up uh, main purpose of custom order pop-up on the website is this like as I have added the name and email address here and simply I have opened the open this one so simply just you can go back and check the further forms like I have label so simply just drag it here so you can also set the label here and now again click on this plus button and just scroll down and here you can see the checkbox so simply you can also apply the checkbox here so just select the checkbox button here so as you can see I have added checkbox now again you have to click on this plus button and now scroll down and here I have already texted area so simply if, if I want to remove this just simply delete this one and here if I want to add any text simply I will add this so currently we will also remove this and also remove this one so as you can see this is our customer custom model pop-up so now again click on plus button and just scroll down and here you can see the recapture option so simply select the recapture option and drag it here now again go back and there are multiple options like if you want to add the radio button or submit button, submit button is already added so like I want to add some text area so simply you can also add the text area here so as you can see we have created a model pop-up so just scroll down and here you can see the search box so you can also put the search box here now again click on this plus button 
just scroll down you can also add the drop down box here so just when you create a model pop-up simply just keep in mind that in most cases you have create a model uh, pop-up for submitting option like sign up login or if you want to upload anything so simply you have to design the model pop-up like this so just again go to plus button so here you can see if you want to improve it more like you can also add the maps here you can also add the social media button here so I have I will also add another social media button here so as you can see we added some button ears and uh, finally our model pop-up is, is ready so just it's depend upon you how you want to customize the model pop-up in web flow like you want to add image list button but in most cases you have to create a simple model pop-up flow so you don't need to do extra things to create a model pop-up flow so simply now as you can see now here we again go to div block and here you can see you can also put the shadows here 2d 3d transformation here transitions filters backup filters so all the options are available here so now after that when you simply create it so now if you want to make another div block simply you have to again press on control k key and select the div block so in this way you can create multiple model pop-up in webflow like you have selected this and again you can set the width and height and add multiple items to your model pop-up so now if you want to delete this one simply just select air and click on the delete button so now you have understood that this is very easy method to create a model pop-up in webflow so just follow all these steps and create this one